guys and welcome to the SteelSeries Apex Gaming Keyboard Review. Now SteelSeries were kind enough to send me this out to review. Now I'm going to be showing you everything on my opinion about this gaming keyboard and some of the cool features it has. Now I do believe this is the upgraded keyboard of the SteelSeries Apex Raw which was pretty much the same design but this has got new features and new additions. Now I'm going to start off with the box. The box itself is very appealing, it's very bright. Not, not, although you can't see it in the video, it's got some cool features, especially on the box, it's got everything that you need to know and what the, the keyboard has to offer. Now I'm going to start off by saying there's 12 cool features here which I will display in the description. I also have a small article in the description which, which is worth checking out and reading about this keyboard, especially if you are wanting to get a gaming keyboard. Now, it's got four cool pictures on here which are four main key features about this keyboard. To start off with, we've got the combination by simple sliding so you can slide down the keys. I will show you what it looks like. We've got the USB hub at the back of the keyboard. We also have easy access to the WASD keys and we also have the quick swap macro set with layer select keys which is also cool. Now some of the features on here, for instance, it's got 16.8 million color illuminations and eight levels of intensity per zone. That is absolutely amazing. 16.8 million color illuminations that's insane it's also got the likes of um, raised macro keys along the top and side to provide faster and more precise um, macro combination I will show you what that looks like but you can see it's got many pictures on here it also says on the front I'm not sure whether you can see this right here but you'll notice on this bit here that is why I'm talking about by the macro keys the easy slip and slide so let's open this box and I'll show you what it's got to offer inside uh, the box has some, to, uh, has some weight to it, but it is a gaming keyboard, so considering it's just going to be still on your desktop, it doesn't really matter about the weight or the size, to be honest. There's no difference. So let's open this. It's just a pure black box. I'm just going to put the actual box to the side. There's nothing inside there. I do believe it opens this way. Let's open this keyboard there. It does come in a protective film, so hopefully it won't have any bumps or scratches on it, but you can see that's the film on there. Just take that off there. And you'll also notice that it comes with a long extension, a long USB extension port. This is the port here. You can see there's two of them, which do require to be plugged in at the same time for the device to work. You can see here it's looking really smooth. It's got a really big space bar. And the keys itself are smooth. I will go over them and I will install the drivers to show you what it does look up lit. So while I move that to the side, I'm going to show you. It comes with a quick and easy um, start guide, which I do recommend reading because it's got some cool information on there. Especially if you are wanting to set your layouts to your specific way of playing. It's gone in many different languages, so if you're watching my video in a different language, well then I make sure you, you do check it out. It also comes with a cool SteelSeries uh, sticker there if you wanted to stick that anywhere. So let's move them to the side. Make sure I'm not... Oh, I'm missing one thing. These are... How can I put it? These raise the keyboard. These are two little black bumper things for the bottom of the keyboard which can raise the angles so if you did want to raise the angle because you were taller or you wanted to have it to a precise angle then you can do that so let me just move this box out of the way and bring the keyboard back up okay so we have the keyboard itself the keyboard has got some distance it's got the keys are big i have big hands so the keys are really big which is great for gamers who do have big hands like me for all general gamers now i want to show you the cool features being the macro keys at the top and the side I'm going to start off by saying you can see at the back on this view here that the keys are raised. This is for easy slipping sliding. So if you are going from the M1 key to F1 to W, which is really cool, you can do that very quick. You'll notice that you are slipping and sliding a lot to get that back to your easy access. We know WASD keys are the main keys when you are gaming. You'll also notice that when you do get the keyboard yourself, the W key has two little small bumps on it. That, that shows you that you are hitting the W key without having to look down. So you could just be like, da -da 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 -da. easy access, great thing to add. It's also got a big space bar, especially for gamers like me. You'll notice that W there, easy access for the, the space bar. So a new feature about this compared to the um, Apex Raw is they re-added the... Um, uh, Windows button which was removed previously. I'm not sure why they removed it, but it's really really cool So let's in pretty much ins install the drivers and I'll show you what it looks like with it lit Okay guys. Well welcome back I've installed the drivers and you can see the keyboard is now lit up now I will turn off the lights to show you the full potential and how easy you can see these keys Especially if you are gaming at night. We all know that gaming at night 
is our prime time. This also has five different zones. We've got the likes of zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five, I do believe. The likes of the social media things here, we've got the brightness you can raise or you can lower there, volume, etc. Like I said, the Steel Series logo there and the Windows Home button there. So let me just turn off the light and show you the full potential of the lighting system in this device. Okay guys, so I've turned off the lights and you can see there, you can see the full potential of the device. You can see here that the Steel Series logo is lit up and very bright. You can see the keys very, very easy. They are easy to spot. You can also change the colors on the um, drivers on the computer, which I will show you at the end of the video. So you can see that this is a very slimline keyboard, which is also good as a gamer. You notice here that it's lit up there, and also you can see it's very slimline there. And it's, it's got so many colors in there that at night time you wouldn't even need to have a, a, a side light on because you can see the keyboard's um, brightness is very, very easy. And I'm just going to bring it up there so you can see how easy it is to, to spot. So also on the back, you'll notice that it's got the likes of the uh, USB hub. So if you did want to install or plug in more devices with this laptop, that is possible. So I just want to turn the light back on and go over a few more features about this device. So let's just recap on the actual features on this device because it's really cool, it's really unique and it is a must to have as a gamer. I do think the potential of the um, slip and slide keys with the M1, the macro, you can switch these to however you do like to game. So if you're playing a different game, an FPS, etc, you can change these and you can change the keys for in and around the different design. Now if you do want to have a chance to win this, all you have to do is make sure you hit that like button, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you follow me on Twitter because that is where I'll be giving it away to a lucky winner. But the keys are really, really smooth. You can set the layout whatever you want with the macro keys and the full potential of this is truly amazing. So I'm going to head over to the um, actual drivers and show you what it has to offer there before we do end this video. So welcome to the Steel Series program engine on here you can change and customize many things such as the colors you can change the colors depending on how you play or what games you are playing and a matter of fact you don't have to have any colors at all so when you do start off and install the drivers for this program which are in the description you will start off with the default which is this one here and you'll start off with the default program or sorry the default profile which is known as the steel series as you can see if i do click this this is the default layout for your actual steel series um uh, keyboard so you've got in settings you can change many things such as the polling rate now on the right hand side you'll notice on this side that we have tips so if you did want to read the tips which i do recommend you reading because then you'll know more things about the keyboard in depth now you've got the properties on here select the profile to be automatically selected now i'm not sure if you can download the um, custom profiles from their website. I will look into details. If it is, it will be in the description. But you notice here, I think this is a great addition. We have the statistics. So if I was to start this and to start hitting a few keys, let me just start hitting a few keys and I will stop it. And then when you do stop it, you'll notice that what keys you have been hitting, as you can see, they are lit up. The darker they are, I believe, the more times you've hit the key. So you can keep, keep an eye on the progress on what keys you have hit. So that is the technical side. I do recommend you reading a few things about it before you jump in to what you might not know. So I hope you have enjoyed this gaming keyboard review. Now before you do run off and go and buy this keyboard yourself, make sure you do check out the description. Massive thanks to Steel Series who did hook me up. All their links in the description. I do recommend you checking them out because they are a great company. And before you do out run out and buy this guys, I am Echo X Soldier. If you do want to win this, make sure you do hit that like button and do everything in the description. Peace out.